Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. Glad to have you with us for another Pink Floyd reaction. Yeah. We're doing time today. Yes. And we did Comfortably Numb was our first introduction. Yes, that was We did the live great. performance with mm -hmm, that one. Which was really cool. Yeah, it was a great performance. They had a whole lot of light show stuff going yeah, on Yeah, it was there. like a whole transcending experience. Yeah, and uh, you were saying it looked similar to this logo that was on the screen. Yeah, with like the rainbow prism effect. Yes. Yeah, so that was a cool experience. It was, you said, transcendent. Um, I, I said, I think, in that video that I felt like, you know, we were going through like time travel yeah, or something journey. like that. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I think that's because Pink Floyd, if, as far as we know, is like a psychedelic rock group. And um, that's the vibe, the vibe that, yeah. that they, they give off. And uh, this song that we're doing, Time, is off Dark Side of the Moon, right? Mm -hmm. And I believe that was from 1973. And so we're getting to know them a little bit more. Uh, you know, we've that last guitar solo by uh, David Gilmour was was wow. crazy. You guys were going off in those comments about the, the guitar solos yeah. that they bring to the table, and it was definitely an experience because it was, oh yeah, it was crazy. It was like we were going on that journey mm -hmm. with that guitar solo, right? Yeah. So, uh, so we're excited to check out another track from Pink Floyd. Obviously, there's a lot to go through, but this was a recommendation from you guys in. Yeah. Uh, doing the studio version. So we did the performance last time. We're going to do the studio version this time because you guys were saying that might be our best bet to do. And we like to do that generally. Go yeah. through studio versions first. Um, so we've got an introduction to their performance. So now let's check out you know the, the real creativity that they bring from the musical yeah. components and focus on that a little bit more. And uh, you ready to check out the second track from Pink Floyd? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's get it, guys.
Yeah, I mean, to me, uh, the way I was thinking about that when we were listening to uh, the progressions was like a rock orchestra almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you, there's just like you said, so many, so much depth, and so much layers to to everything. But you know, you've got like this organ overlapping with a keyboard, mm -hmm. and you've got I really like the keyboard. Yeah, and you know, obviously in the beginning, you know, that was an extended intro with the time and all the clocks yeah. and everything. But then you had almost like a metronome stuff to like. You know, emphasize the uh, significance of time. I think yeah, that, there's like a yeah, and um, so that was cool in itself. And I feel like you'd have to like kind of take take it all in as to what they were doing there because, yeah, like you said, so much. Obviously, you know, baseline is very prevalent as well, leading the way. You know, um, the 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 drums are are layered well, but I think like this one is a little bit different than the last one that we did i feel like this one is more of a groove to it like yeah. you know the last one it was a great song it was a great composition comfortably yeah, it was like also more like a journey yeah exactly yeah also that one was live so maybe this one we're hearing you know some of the melody a bit more yeah. and even like i don't know if you picked it up but like the background vocals and harmonies sound really nice too yeah like the, the, the background. <laughs> everything like you said it's just that that depth that we talked about right yeah. and but this one, I feel like it's much more of a vibe. Like I'm getting much more into the groove with it. Yeah. And it's I like it. It's 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 very cool. It's like, um, it's definitely its own type of rock. Like we've gone through so many different rock groups, yes, but this it's is very I can see why people place Pink Floyd. Just obviously this is only our second yeah. track, but this whole psychedelic rock aspect. Yeah. Of you know, it's funny in the last one I talked about going through a journey. And like traveling through time. Yeah, <laughs> and now think, it's time. But I think what I meant in the last one was we were traveling through space. Yeah. And this one we're traveling through, through time. time. Yeah. But it's cool because time and space go together. But you know, yeah. not that that's related to Pink Floyd as a whole. But that was just cool how our dynamic yeah. played in with that one. But yeah, like I said, if I had to summarize it, and uh, you know, I'll cap it so we can finish out. But <laughs> and I'll let you, you know. Uh, talk about what you like but i like i said rock orchestra if i had to summarize yeah. it that's how i feel yeah i mean i hadn't thought of that but as soon as you said that i was like yes exactly um but i find that like i almost feel like the keyboard is what gives it almost that psychedelic feel like i feel like the keyboard notes yeah. that are thrown in that like makes me feel like it's kind of this like psychedelic like groovy kind of feel yeah i mean obviously paired mm -hmm. with everything else and how they layer all of that but I feel like that's kind of like to me what sticks out to me where I'm like, okay, hey, I feel like this is very like, like groovy, baby, psychedelic, like mushrooms, like you know what I mean? So yeah, that's I think it has that vibe for sure. I, we didn't even touch on the, the obviously the guitar solo, yes, which, which is, is awesome. great. Yeah. Um, and again, in this one, like it seems like in the last one, the guitar solo was very prevalent with really long guitar mm -hmm. solo. Similarly, in this one, so I don't know if this is you know the scope of of what. Pink Floyd ju does, yeah. But again, it seems like it was telling a story with mm -hmm. with the guitar solo, so I yeah. enjoyed that again. So yeah, got another couple minutes here. See where we finish off with time and where we're gonna. 
go, you know, not a whole lot of lyrics so far. So I'll maybe no, it's more like the back that. end, we'll get a few more. But um, yeah. I like the vocal as well. Anyways, enough of the chit chat. Let's finish this one up and uh, see what time is going to finish out with. <laughs> I'm actually just going to run that back a little bit. Like that kind of like slowed down there near the end. It's it is such a different vibe from like the other rock stuff that we yes. had. It's so much more chill. It is. Um and, and relaxed. Yeah. You know, I feel like, like a mellow rock. Yeah. And uh Vibe rock. <laughs> the lyrics were cool as well, like uh, touching on I think the aspects of time, like trying to grasp the moment of time. Yeah. In some respects. Um, and then some other just references to time as a whole. So it was a cool composition, very creative, um, I don't want to say it was overly philosophical, but I do feel like it's kind of a philosophical philosophical song of time yeah. and like. I mean, I can't remember the specifics in the lyrics that I heard, but I also kind of caught a vibe of like almost like making the most out of time and yeah. like yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Um, of like, I guess like harnessing the full potential of yeah and so that's what i mean like it's kind of like not just the time of the clock ticking like yeah, we heard yeah. in the beginning yeah it's the you know the essence of what time means like from a human perspective yeah, yeah yeah so that was cool i enjoyed it it was a very cool composition yeah. um i think you know you would probably be something that you could listen to frequently and pick up something different each time that you oh, listen for sure. to it i feel like it would take like a lot of listens to really be able to get through like all the layers yeah of just like as you said the backup vocals i noticed them much more predominantly than you know when i was listening in the beginning because there's so much you know so yeah. much happening um so yeah I, I i definitely enjoyed our second introduction to Me pink too. floyd in time and uh cool. hope you guys enjoyed our reaction if you did you know what to do hit that like button for us but you also need to leave a comment and let us know what some of your favorites are from Pink Floyd and uh, maybe what direction we should go into. Yeah. Um, I know the Pulse concert is really popular for live performances, but maybe it's going to be better if we can get a feel for a few more Pink Floyd tracks that are a little more popular. Maybe we can check some of those yeah. out at the Pulse con concert after the fact. Uh, so you, you enjoyed the song overall? Yeah, no, I thought it was good. Cool. Well, that's it from us today, guys. Yeah. We hope you come back soon. If you haven't subscribed, we'd love to have you as a part of uh, the community that we're building here. So you can hit that subscribe button and make sure that you come back and check out our next video. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.